When we think of bullying, we typically imagine kids on the playground or social media. As we become adults, we learn to shrug things off, build a thick skin, and get on with it. But this kind of abuse shouldn't be tolerated. Let's welcome Eric Sullivan, licensed therapist with Proud Counseling. It's great to have you with us. And adult-on-adult -adult bullying, it's been around for a very long time. Has it gotten worse? It has gotten worse. It's gotten way more prevalent, especially with social media. And why is that? Why, why is social media such a vehicle for which people can bully others? Well, it's given this greater platform to be able to do it, to be able to like see what's going on with everyone, to respond to it versus like, previously it used to be more based on like personal interactions and smaller within communities, and now it's just on a larger scale. So there's kind of a rush when you know that there's an audience, right? And then what about the level of anonymity? We were talking about that earlier too. Right, even though sometimes it's tied into that person's name and profile, there's like a level of comfort with being able to just type something and hit enter and not have to have like immediate repercussions for that. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, people can create fake accounts. Right, exactly. I know, it, it takes a lot more guts to say something to somebody's face and risk your nose getting broken or something like that, right? <laughs> yes. Not that we're advocating um, no. <laughs> violence or anything like that, but you know, we don't tend to think about adult bullying as often because once we grow out of our adolescence, we, we take it on the chin, you know, mm -hmm. life has its challenges. When does it get so bad that you, you just can't take it anymore, that it just, it, it's ruining your oh, life? I, like to be on the, when you're on the receiving yes. end. Yeah. Well, one of the hallmarks of it is that it's, it's, it's a pattern. It's repeated. The harassment's continuing. And when it's happening like that, it's going to reach a point where it's not, tolerable anymore and when you start to notice it's impacting your own mental health that's probably the point it's gone too far. Mm -hmm. and what do you do in that case? Well it depends. It depends where it's coming from. I think it's really important to to name what's happening to the person that is like perpetrating the bullying toward you. If it's in person like take a deep breath, look them in the eye, name what's happening. Oftentimes people don't respond to being told what they are. So mm -hmm. I, I recommend don't say like you are being a bully because then people put a wall up and they mm -hmm. get defensive. No, no, I'm not. But you can name it as you are engaging in bullying behaviors or perhaps you're engaging in harassment behaviors toward me. Mm -hmm. You can also give them a little bit of education in that moment. like. Generally, when people are doing that, it's not about the other person, it's actually about them. So you can invite them to like look inward about like what is it about this that's causing that um, reaction mm -hmm. from you? Mm -hmm. And in the interim, I'm gonna ask that you stop. Yeah, yeah. So to be very clear, to communicate, Unlike when we're children, if someone's bullying you on the playground, you run to your teacher, you mm -hmm. run to the principal, you run to your parents. Um, when you're an adult, unless it's in the workplace, you can't really tell someone to stop. So you can really only control yourself. Mm -hmm. So, and, and what about for people who maybe don't realize that they are engaging in bullying behavior. So what are some of the, the signs that people should reflect within mm -hmm. and to recognize in themselves and maybe change the script a bit? Self-awareness is really important. So like paying attention to knowing what some of those behaviors are and if you're doing them, harassing other people, making disparaging comments about them, even like nonverbal forms of passive aggressive communication, rolling your eyes every time someone talks. Generally, people who are engaging in those behaviors, it's gonna have impact, it's gonna have consequence. So like, is your job being affected? Are your personal relationships being affected? Right, and if you find yourself in a situation where silence is, is the only tool you have in your toolbox to combat it, do you just recommend not giving oxygen to the situation and just... Absolutely. Yeah, it's, there can be a lot of power in disengagement. So if you have confronted that person and it's not getting through or it's just not going anywhere productive, 
it's absolutely okay to just take a beat and walk away from the situation. Yeah, and you'd be surprised at how that really kind of quells mm -hmm. the flames, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. For yes. people who want more information, where do they go for your services? Um, you can find more information at proudcounseling.com. Wonderful. Thank you again. Yes. Good to talk to you. We're back after this.